Enemy Moab incoming. Hey guys, how you all doing? It's Kirsty, as usual, with another gameplay commentary. And this could be another episode of Moabs with every weapon. Because I haven't actually posted a P90 gameplay, I don't think. So we'll sort of put it in that category. And we'll also call it a bit of an update to the Call of Duty community or something of that sort. Because as we all know, Robert Trolling quit this week. Which I'm not really going to get into because it's pretty much been done to death. And my real opinion is, yeah that's great because he was a bit of a dick. But it's not going to really change much and yeah, if we're all magically hoping that the support over Infinity Ward is going to suddenly become something like Treyarch support, then I think that we've all been like smoking too much something. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really think it's going to make much of a change, especially this late in the piece, when Activision's going to be more focused on making more of our money with Black Ops 2. But what I did want to talk about was this weekend some new game modes are being added to the playlist and I'm really excited about that and really looking forward to that and it's awesome that for once PlayStation gets something at the same time as Xbox. So I'm not going to complain and if you haven't actually heard about what it is yet is there are going to be three free-for-all game modes and I hate free-for-all with a passion but I do love these game modes and two of them we've already seen in Black Ops previously, which is one in the chamber and gun game, which are heaps of fun to play and I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun on these maps and with these guns because honestly Modern Warfare 3 really needs something a little bit more sort of refreshing because the whole sitting in corners with FMGs and assassin and bullshit is just getting a little bit old. Same with all the freaks running around with RPGs. Hopefully that's not in gun game. Although knowing Infinity Ward, it probably will be, and there will still be freaks running around with RPGs. But that was really what I wanted to say, and there is another new game mode, and I don't really know much about it, because it's new, but it seems sort of like a mix of infected and, I don't know, one in the chamber maybe. You pretty much start off with no ammo, but you have the opportunity to get uh, specialist point streaks. And the first one you get scavenger. And you do have a throwing knife as well. So the whole point is to pretty much, yeah, go around and start building up your point streaks. With originally starting with that throwing knife or with a knife. So, yeah, we'll see what that's like. It sounds interesting to say the least. And hopefully it'll be quite a polished game mode because it was actually originally a community game. And yeah, I've never heard of this game. So hopefully this will all be able to bring something new to the series, at least for a little bit, give us all something a bit different to play. Although it's already been hard enough to find local games, especially in the daytime, in Australia anyway, since Infected's been added to the playlist. So hopefully that won't make my game searching any more difficult. But, as you'll see, there's the Moab guys, and this gameplay is coming to an end very shortly. I just wanted to do a quick little commentary just to give you guys an update of, yeah, these new game modes and how I felt about them. So, hope to see you soon, guys. Bye.